Happy Farm Friday, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about rootstocks and how we use them in our operation in the trees and the vines. Right, we are here in a vineyard, and so we will look at a vine right now. Down below here, this is the rootstock, and this is the scion. What that means, the scion is the type of fruit that we would like. This variety, for example, is a mid-season green, and this rootstock here is called Freedom. And we chose Freedom because it's a sandy ranch, and Freedom helps mine for nutrients and produce more vigor. And this green variety up here has great flavor. It's crispy, it's crunchy, fits the right timing. So this ranch, we had a selection of Freedom with great green on top. In some situations, a rootstock may not be necessary. Uh, maybe the Scion is a strong enough variety and it doesn't need help from an extra powerful rootstock or the soil type is just right. Uh, for us here at HMC Farms, for our soil types, almost everything is planted with a rootstock. Um, and we have a few of our vineyards own rooted, uh, but those are special situations where the soil type and the variety was capable of doing that by itself. Rootstocks have different characteristics and they can be selected based on whatever that variety needs. Maybe that variety or location needs drought resistance, pest or disease resistance, extra vigor, uh, reduced vigor. We have one rootstock that we use to increase the size of our plums. Uh, there's multiple reasons why different combinations work or don't work for rootstocks. And getting it right the first time is extremely important because with permanent crops, it's not really possible to go back and switch it. So you get one shot at it and you educate yourself and try to figure out what the best combo is to produce the best crop you can. Thank you for checking out this video. And if you have any questions, please let us know. We will see you next time on our HMC Farms Farm Friday. Have a great weekend.